Hi there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you a video concerning Brexit. Uh, as many of you will be aware, this is a particularly uh, poignant topic for people in the United Kingdom at the moment, and one of the main uh, contentions for the pro-Brexit, or the Brexit is, is the delay in the negotiations with Brussels. Now, I'm going to try and simplify this as, as much as possible, and I'm trying to keep this video under five minutes, hopefully I'll be able to do that. So, uh, let's talk about why. Why the delay? Now, global politics, I'm going to touch on a video about that in a moment, but if you just look at Theresa May, not as a uh, conservative politician, but as a Democrat, um, a satellite operative of the United States Democratic political party that has been controlling the United States in the greater part since the 1950s. So, she's a, la a lady that's serving the uh, IMF, the European Central Bank, Brussels, and the New World Order and the Globalist Agenda for World Domination. This is why we've got the pro prevarication, the procrastination, and what she's there to do is nothing more than a stop-delay tactic for one particular reason. And that reason is the big surprise from June 2016, when the British public surprised everybody by voting to leave, Bre uh, to, to leave the uh, European Union. Now, what you might remember, if you uh, cast your mind back to that, uh, that era, uh, we had also a campaign run by Nigel Farage of the UKIP uh, political group, and that was for taking England out of, or uh, the United Kingdom, sorry, out of uh, the European Union. Two major surprises that summer. One, the Brexit result in June, followed very closely on the heels of the first time in a long time that a non-political career individual, Donald Trump, managed to gain the presidency of the United States. So, Nigel Farage, the big surprise. Brexit, and the, uh, followed by the Trump election. Hand in hand, these two uh, events caused a significant wave of, of desperation among the, the globalist agenda. So, what we had then is the Clinton megalomania machine uh, with its globalist agenda knocked back. So, at the moment, why there is the delay, and the delay is for one reason, if you would look at the latest um, minutes from the uh, IMF that have just been published at their meeting in Bali, they're warning of a serious global financial problem that is about to re-emerge following the 2008 um, fallout from um, the Lehman Bear Stearns debacle of global financial panic. So, it's not the banks, it's not Bloomberg, it's not uh, some pundit now warning about the possible implications of, of, of financial uh, problems. It is the IMF itself. The IMF are the final backstop for all world loans and all money from, from, for any financial panic. So, this is what's happening. The people, the countries that have uh, uh, chosen to leave the European Union before and have all voted in, in, um, uh, in a referenda, have all had their votes overturned. Don't forget, the Dutch voted to leave. The French voted to leave. The Irish voted to leave. The Spanish and the Portuguese had their referenda cancelled. And finally, we had Brexit coming through, but still no Brexit to two and a half years on. So, it all hangs now on the November the 6th midterm elections in the United States. Because the plan is for the IMF, if the Democrats manage to take over the, um, the House of Representatives, is the idea is for them to then begin their agenda again rolling of hobbling the Trump administration, maybe looking to impeach Donald Trump with a view to collapsing the world economy, introducing a one world cu currency and a one world government, and that is the sole reason that Theresa May is just treading water, sitting on a bicycle, pedaling like mad, going nowhere. It all hangs on the November the 6th midterm elections in the United States, and if the red wave of the Republican movement is as successful as I predict it will be 
then the arrests will follow. Don't forget, we have military law since 14th of September 2001 in place in the United States. That means military tribunals can be conveyed or convened in order to try those who have committed treason against the Republic and the United States. If you like the video, press the subscribe, press the like, and also look out for further videos coming up very shortly because I have so much information to, to convey at the moment. These videos don't do it justice, so I'm looking to start a weekly webinar, which will probably be on a Wednesday, so I'm giving you a heads-up warning on that, and that will be uh, available by looking at the, the, the tab below, which will be removement.net. Okay, thank you for listening. Peter Bingham signing off.